Hey guys, Mike here at Amish Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. Okay, today we're going to do a short video in the constraint series. Uh, I did a couple of videos on different types of constraints and today we're going to talk about the orient constraint. Okay, it's a pretty important one, so let's get to it. Now, I'm going to create an object that looks somewhat like a wheel. Okay, so I'm just going to take one of these guys and I'll hit E and I'll rotate that upwards to minus 90. And I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate it. And I'll hit W and move it over. Oh, Control D and move it over. Okay. So let's say these are wheels, the front wheels of a car. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this wheel. We're going to shift select the second one. Okay. And we're going to go into our rigging menu to constrain, orient, option box. And I'll just reset it. Nothing else. And hit add. Okay. Now, I'll hit 4 for wireframe mode so you can see what's going on, all right? If I take this wheel and I hit E because I want to rotate it, they're rotating both because of that constraint. But also, if I want to twist the front wheels, it's going to follow as well. So that's a good example of the uh, constraint, okay? Now, you have the option in the option box to restrict movement. So, for example, I only want to follow in that direction, but when I do this, you know, it's not going to follow simply by looking at which axis you want to have uh, influenced. And I'll show you if you go to orient constraint option box, you can have constraint axis all or you can choose X, Y or Z. OK, so that's one uh, thing you can do with it. Um, the second one, and we'll just go back here. Let's say I have a NURBS control for my object. OK, so I'll create another wheel, if you will. I'll hit 5 for shaded mode, hit E and rotate that upwards once again to minus 90. And actually, we'll just get rid of these two. All right. So let's say this is the wheel of a car and we have a NURBS control. So uh, kind of imagine car, wheel, so forth. We're going to go and create a NURBS primitive and we'll take a NURBS circle. We'll hit W, move that out, hit E and rotate that up as well to minus 90. Okay. And now what I want is for this NURBS circle to act as my control for the wheel of my car. Okay. Now, as they're both objects, this guy has his pivot centered in the middle, this one as well. So we're going to select this, we're going to shift select the wheel, we're going to go to constraint, orient constraint, and just select that. So now if I take my control and I'll hit 4 for wireframe mode so you can see, and I hit E, I'm rotating my wheel. But also, I can move it. Okay. So these are just a few short examples of what you can do with the orange uh, constraint, and uh, hopefully they will help you in your modeling and rigging adventures. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I'd love to see you guys again. Bye.